Hello and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 4 walkthrough, part 35, Shocking a Gecko. Yes, this one is interesting. I checked the APU on this mm. and engaged the generator. Energy output is low, but it's only enough to power the elevator. Well, thank God. And see if it's I'm sat here with my Walker's Ready Sorted Crisps. Quite peckish. Nice. You want to push the only floor you can go to, really. Basement 2. Or you got that? This part's pretty, pretty straightforward, to be honest. Go this way because you can get a few little things. You can pick them up. That's what I do anyway. Listen to this. Everything looks exactly like I remember it, except for that wall way in back. Anyway, I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric mm. current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Mm. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. Now, what he's just said there is quite interesting because I'll show you later. I'm just going to say it comes in very useful. from Metal Gear Solid 1. Awesome! Okay. I'm done eating my crisps. Or potato chips, as you call them in America. I am. Oh yes, it's this code you've got to punch in. Do you remember it? I remember it. Uh huh. Sure is. It's four, eight, two, seven, three. Well remembered. <laughs> Good for you. Should be the right code anyway. Hope it is. Don't fail me, memory. Nay. Right then. way to take care of this gecko. It's quite simple. Um, wait till he goes down to the corridor on his left, on my right, and then set down the Mark III. Mm -hmm. Press the X button to use the cloaking device on the Mark II, III. And then right all the way down here. 
go down this room onto the old electrical floor, whatever. Press triangle. It shouldn't go towards your deaths because it's an unmanned enemy, so it wouldn't really count as as a death or a kill. So yeah. Go for it. And push the elevator button. Nice job. Sorry I haven't been talking much in this guys, I'm just eating my lunch. I don't know. It's one twenty five and I'm having my lunch. I deserve it. Just finished a banana, just to update you. And there's a crisp on the floor. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, I had a crisp. Take the stairs down and go to the north door. I'll open it for you with the mark three. Take the stairs. <laughs> no way. Okay. We're on the home free now. That's what you call it. Oh wait. There's a noise. Something's taking the elevator down. Oh god. Maybe it's time to peel my orange. I have an orange. Oh god, it's Gecko. It's Gecko! Holy crap! Okay, the objective of the game here now is to distract as much attention away from the Mark III as possible. So, what you got to do is lean on things and use the R1 button to tap to make sure you bring him round, like so. That's cool. And whilst he's looking that way, quickly, run behind him. Pretty cool. Get down here. It's not that loud, but he can hear it, trust me. You should see when he's heard it because the exclamation mark appears on the top of his head. Means he's heard it. And he's wondering what the hell's going on. Okay. So yes, you, if you just gotta do that for um, a couple of minutes. But if you're just playing through and you don't care, set a bunch of claymore mines. Uh, get him to stand on him. Um, when he blows up. Like, lock a javelin missile on him and shoot him. That's if you want, um, if you want to get spotted, sorry. Because you will get spotted doing that. So yeah. If you want to get through, go through the game without getting spotted though, then, uh, this is the way to do it. Gotta use the whole full two minutes. I know, right? Sucks. Three minutes, I think it was, even. Three minutes. Jesus, oh god. He nearly got me. Just keep on knocking. He'll come a running. Knock knock. Who's there? It's me, Pliskin. Urquai Pliskin. Do you remember that from Metal Gear Solid 2? That Raiden saying, What's your name? And then Snake goes, Urquai. Urquai Pliskin. It's like, You're not Pliskin, you're Snake. Boy. Righty. Well, um, wish I'd bring him down here again. This is becoming funny. The door's almost done, and we're almost coming to the end of this long episode today. Ten minutes today, almost. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna go down the end, other end, and distract him one more time. Cause you'll notice the little counter on the side goes red when it reaches twenty. So we're going to knock on there. Da -da -da -da. That gives us now 20 seconds whilst he's over there to get the hell out of there and run towards the back door because it'll be done soon. 12, come on. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Join me in the next one, guys, where we'll be fighting Crying Wolf.